an injured Seattle Seahawks free safety Quandre Diggs is carted off the field during the second half of an NFL football game against the Arizona Cardinals Sunday, January 9, 2022, in Glendale, Arizona. AP photo slash Daryl Webb up Glendale, Arizona, Quandre Diggs lay on the turf, broken. Medical personnel immediately summoned a motorized cart. Sidney Jones punched the air nearby and stomped around the field in anger. D. J. Reed threw his helmet off and away. Diggs teammates who weren't on the field Sunday when the Pro Bowl safety became the latest Seahawks player seriously injured on this Seattle field of horrors in Arizona came off the sidelines and across the field to him. The entire Seahawks team stood and watched as paramedics put an inflatable cast over Diggs' right leg that was broken in two places. The free safety had tried to change directions to get to a Cardinals ball carrier in the fourth quarter of Seattle's 38-30 upset win in the season finale. His feet gave way in the turf, and a Cardinals lineman appeared to crash down onto the lower half of Diggs' leg while his cleats were anchored to the ground. I was stunned, linebacker Jordan Brooks said. Diggs was distraught and appeared to be in tears as he left the field on the back of the cart. Coach Pete Carroll said following the game Diggs had a broken fibula and a dislocated ankle. He needed surgery and was staying behind for that Sunday night in Phoenix at a hospital while the Seahawks flew home and into their off-season without him. All of them, that is, except Tyler Lockett. That's my best friend, he said of Diggs. The Seahawks wide receiver asked Carroll for permission to stay behind with Diggs at the hospital. The coach granted that. I mean, that's my brother. But I don't think I'm doing anything that he wouldn't have done for me, Lockett said of his training partner and former college rival within the Big 12 Conference, when Lockett was playing for Kansas State and Diggs for Texas. Diggs posted on his Twitter account Sunday night, God's plan is better than mine. Thankful always. I appreciate the love and support and trust me I'll be back. Quarterback and captain Russell Wilson summarized the team's mood about Diggs' injury when he said, that one hurt tonight. What made the injury even more painful for Diggs, he was in the last quarter of the final game of his contract. He'd been wanting a new one from the Seahawks since before last summer. That's when he held in from training camp, showed up but refused to practice. Veteran defensive end Carlos Dunlap knows the cold business of the NFL. He shook his head at Diggs breaking his leg just as he was about to enter free agency. I have no words, Dunlap said. 